Good morning everybody. First day alone in Curacao and today it's cleanup day. It's a pretty big mess in the boat. So just want to make sure everything is clean. I always feel better when uh, everything is clean. So inside, outside, gonna clean it all up. Uh, I've got a guy coming over that uh, got in contact with me like, hey Andres, I saw you coming in. Uh, do you need a hand? And I want to switch places because I'm uh, actually on a total outside. There you can see off the anchorage and there's a lot of boats passing here so he's gonna help me re-anchor and I got woken up this morning because uh, the rain was coming in through the windows again so the priority is to seal up the hatches and make sure no rain comes in. First descrewing the boards because I need to fix the boards as well. So much to do but hey, it's 8 o'clock. I got a long day ahead. I can do a lot. Look at that, one more thing I was thinking about, like back in the old days, look, the fence didn't have any protection. You can just get cut your hand in it. See, it's turning really hard. You can hurt your finger. If you have hair, your hair can get cut in it. You know, but back in the old days, you were not obligated to wear a helmet on the bike. You were not uh, obligated to wear your seat belt. These things didn't have protection. There was no like manual on a microwave that you could not put your dog in it, you know. These days, stupid people are protected too much, you know. Everything is childproof. I think you just need to be careful. I think we're way overreacting in these days, making everything as safe as possible. Regulations, use for it. You know, just how do you call it? What's the law of stupidity? You know, if you're stupid, you live a little bit less longer, you know. This is uh, Vincent from Sailing Yacht Hiram and uh, he saw me parking the boat up here and uh, he said well that's a pretty bad spot there's a lot of jet skis a lot of guys so uh, he's gonna help me out anchor uh, yeah where are we gonna anchor? Uh, we're gonna anchor right over there there's a nice spot with less wind and uh, less waves and less jet skis and boats so uh, and there's better company over there so uh, let's uh, move the boat Sounds like a plan. And he's very handy. He already helped me out with the anchor winch and with my dynamo and a couple of things. So I think I can learn something from uh, from friends here. Check it out on uh, Instagram. Uh, sailing Yacht Heron, no? Heron, Sailing Yacht Heron. Heron. Oh, let's park the boat. Check that out. Next to my buddies, Vincent and Kim from Sailing Yacht Heron. A little bit more in the middle. So a little bit less wind. Less waves, and now on my way to customs. Come on, let's go! Okay guys, in the bus to customs and immigrations, let's check it in. And I've got a nice story in the city on my way to customs and you know sometimes i can just cry from happiness like the bus guy passed and i was waving and i was like hey can i here use my bank card in the bus and he's like no we only do cash and i was like well just ride with the with the boat can i get some cash here in the machine somewhere and he goes like yo hop in i'll bring you to the city Saul, you are amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, restoring my faith in humanity. And uh, if I see you again, Saul, I'll get you a nice dinner or beer. Now uh, let's see how customs works out. And from customs, it's about 45 minute walk to immigration. So uh, getting my walk done, guys, getting my walk done. And not a bad walk everywhere. Bright colors, happy colors, loving it. <laughs> That's how cold you get them here in Curacao. Perfect. Salute. Guys, I just had a problem. Uh, my anchor was dragging, so uh, I had happily the guys from next door coming over to reset the anchor. I'm in Curacao uh, Spanish water right now. 
But I just got to hear it from the Coast Guard that I'm not allowed to drop my anchor here and that I need to go uh, to another place, then go to get a permit and then I can drop my anchor here again. So right now I'm single hand sailing and I have to go on my own to another place to drop the anchor. So remember, if you come to Spanish water, you need to go to this place, you have to get a permit, because if you drop your anchor anywhere else, uh, the Coast Guard will come and it will send you away. So now I'm in a lot of problems because these guys just want me to go away right now. I need to ask for somebody for help. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. The anchor place is about there. Okay, let's go. Just got the anchor up for the second time. This is Willem from Sailing Yacht Monkey. My other neighbor saved my life. So, Willem is sailing us now to the second anchor spot. That's where we need to anchor with the Coast Guard behind us, escorting us. Then I have to go and get a permit and then I can get back to uh, this anchor spot. How is Curaçao except for getting in? Lovely. <laughs> Uh, so well, I'm going to treat this guy on a beer in a couple of minutes and uh, I want to hear about Curacao and what to do here and uh, Willem already, you saved my ass today man, thanks! No worries! <laughs> okay, the Coast Guard just passed, we have here a rotating bridge, it's a huge bridge, check it out, the bridge from Willemstad, reconnecting to the dock, connecting one city to the other side and now I'm on my way get my anchor permit it's not my week guys i'm here now with the anchor permit and i thought they were closing at 12 so i was running to make it before 12 and it's uh 11 35 11 40 uh, 11 55 now but they were closing at 11 30 so i have to wait till 1 30 so i have another two hours to uh get to play around but uh well i've got the internet so uh Let's see. Hey, good morning. Gonna make some breakfast. Today I'm getting uh, a visitor. So I'm gonna visit her for the rest of the weekend. Uh, well, I don't have too much at home, but I'm making uh, a healthy breakfast and eating healthy is not that difficult. I had a can of tuna, a can, of vegetables, just like that. Mix it together with some salt and pepper and put it on a wrap. And you've got a very healthy breakfast, guys. So uh, eating healthy is easy. A good mind wants to be in a good body and you don't want to be uh, getting 50 and not being able to run, walk or whatever. So keep your body in shape and the best thing to do that is eat well and work out. So. Uh, Let's pick up uh, my guest. Okay guys, this is the visit. I was a bit late and the normally the customs is when you're picking somebody up from the airport, you bring a beer. But I was a little bit late, so she was standing here with a beer. Cheers, huh? the Cheers to the weekend. <laughs> Check this out guys. This is the bridge in Curaçao. It's just a boat on a pontoon. How cool is that? So this whole bridge is opening for the Coast Guard that's passing by. And it's basically just a boat. That's going forward and backward. Check that out. We thought like, that's a strong rum and coke. And then we noticed, <laughs> show us the can, show us the can. Look, uh, that's look it. That. Yeah, look at the can. <laughs> that's 12 and a half percent. A bit stronger than the Netherlands. <laughs> but it's good. 